Breaking, obviously, it's, uh, it's the first, uh, not just women's bout in BKB, but also pay-per-view, so women's bout. So awesome. You. you know, the BKB does everything first class. They're a great organization, and uh, I'm impressed that they put women on the pay-per-view. They gave us a chance to shine, and, and I think we did just that, and we show what women can do. Did it make you fight any harder, knowing that, I know you've called out uh, Lucia Riker for like the last few years, and one of the fighters, she basically said yesterday when you interviewed her and asked her about that, she said that she's like definitely like retired, right? Yeah, that's okay. She's uh, a smart lady, you know, but I say <laughs> she's smart. If I was her, I wouldn't want to fight me either, so she better stay retired. <laughs> Did it make you fight any harder knowing that uh, her, that Deanna Prozik's trainer was? Nah, was, you know? nah, it had no effect on me. I just really wanted to win, and against any opposition, it's just me and the other person in the ring, and nothing else matters. You know? What is it, uh, you know, you don't take rounds off, but you look very focused in there, you very you look very relaxed in there. What, where does that come from? I think that took a few moments off, you know, but I was just kind of gauging where I was and getting the timing and the distance. Um, what was the last part of that question? <laughs> where does that come from, essentially? Is it just years? Is it experience? Years of practice it... experience. I'm very calm, and I felt like I was a little bit complacent. Sometimes in the clinch, I would clinch or just look what's going on when I got inside, but... You know, overall, I'm very happy with my performance. Um, there's some things to work out and some things to improve always, but I'm very happy. You know, the way we finished it, with the knockout, we had two knockdowns in the fight. You know, what could be better for BKB, the first inaugural women's fight? Did you and Lewis go through anything else training-wise, knowing that you sort of have to stay in the pocket more, you have to bang when you're in there sure. than you would uh, in boxing? How is it different? Um, we train the same. You know, I can fight inside, I can fight outside, but we got in the pit and practiced sparring in the pit every other day or so and uh, that was a good experience because you know we got used to tripping on the sides and you know we worked all that out before we got here so um, over, yeah everything was great everything all the preparation my team Luis Tapia uh, Raul Morales they're all behind me we had a good camp and last thing back to Ronda Rousey how would that fight go down how would it go down well if it's boxing this is my arena this is what I do best and Ronda Rousey, stick to MMA. If you don't want to get beat, stick to what you do best. I mean, you know, I'm not going to come challenge you in UFC and get my arm broke. That's not going to happen. But you want to talk about boxing? Come get some. This is what I do. I mean, there's nobody that can beat me in the sport of boxing. No female out there. I don't care if you're MMA, boxing. This is, yeah, this is what I do. This is what you do. Congrats again. Thanks a lot, Luke. I appreciate the support as always. You're the best. Of course. Of course. Appreciate it. Thank you.